number 13 Demon Street. I am condemned to live here, to suffer on this earth forever, as a punishment for my crime. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. <laughs> but should I find a crime more terrible than mine, my punishment will end. Come with me. John Radian knew exactly where he was going, and he dreaded every step. But there was nothing he could do to stop himself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. And what happens next? Nothing. It just stops. I've never found out what's in that room. It keeps pulling me, but I, I've never been able to make myself go inside. How often have you had this dream? Oh. Six, maybe seven times. This is quite common, John. You have a fear of the future. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? At the same time, you want to know what you're going to do. So you have this dream in order to give yourself an opportunity to find out. You get closer and closer until you're too close. And at the last minute, you're afraid to face it. Tell me, is that why I scream? Just a device to bring you back to wakeful and safe reality. It would be awful to learn one's future. I'm certain I don't want to know any of it. A part of you does, or you wouldn't have the dream. You want it, yet you fear it. That fear is centered on a non-existent building in an imaginary street. But that's just the point. It isn't imaginary. I played there many times when I was a boy. Could you find it if you looked? Without a bit of trouble and do the thing that you're incapable of doing in your dream. Look at it for what it is. A harmless old building that probably frightened you as a child. Once you see that, I'm sure you'll be relieved of the anxieties that are plaguing you. You mean, go there? Yes, of course, go there. Hi. Yeah. 
Come in, John Radian. I expected you sooner. How did you know my name? The crystal, of course. Shall we begin? Begin? Your future. Isn't that why you came? Yes. I, I, I mean, no. I, I don't know. That's always the way with you impatient ones. I'm not impatient. It's, it's just that I... I know. Why do people want to know about their future? To hear about pleasant surprises? Will they also accept the clouds of misfortune? The fears of disaster? Just tell me what you see. You'll get paid for it. Relax and come along with me. That's it. Much clearer. Much clearer there. Yes. Yes, I see you. But you're still far away. You will be offered a trip. A trip? To Egypt. I assure you, I'm not going anywhere. I have neither the money nor the inclination. There you are. Looking. Looking desperately for somebody. You can't find him. It frightens you, it terrifies you. Looking for whom? I don't know. He isn't there. But somebody else. You're talking to him. He has a scar. A deep scar. And he will prompt you to fulfill your destiny. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. It is as I expected. Fine, and tell me, what do I expect? Your future. But you have no future. Well, what did you see? You saw something. Well, come on, tell me what? A clock striking midnight. I saw you very clearly. I saw you very dead. Dead? You lie! Yes, I lie. Often. But the crystal never lies. Tonight, at midnight, you will be dead. What is this? Are you threatening me? I have no grudge against you. I don't even know you. That's too bad. You know, I thought I might find out who or what it is I'm dealing with. Why do you want to know? Somewhere, somebody is waiting to kill me. Maybe the man with the scar. No. But somehow his presence is necessary to the chain of events. Then who is it? What would you do if you knew? Ah, there are many ways of dealing with a murder. I could, I could find his motives and reason with him. That would not change fate. You seem so sure. Why? Because of what I saw in the crystal. Because... Who is it? I am the one who will take your life. What do I owe you? Nothing. Just how do you intend to kill me? I have no idea. But is there a reason? Do, do you want to murder me? I don't even know you. Well, this is a big town. Try to find me before midnight. Is there a telephone around? You just passed one. Oh, there's a girl in there. She's on a marathon talk. 
How long can a woman gab without saying anything? That's why I never married. Buy a ticket. Might be your night. Have a look. Might be a winner. Good for a, a plane ticket to Egypt. Aren't you lucky? For days I thought I was only selling duds. Egypt? Yes, right away. That's what she said, Egypt. Said? Who? Dr. Holmes, please. Sorry, Dr. Holmes, please. Just a moment. Please leave your name and telephone number. Look, I'm talking from a public telephone. Try to find him for me, will you, please? Dr. Holmes will call in. I want him now. He's my doctor now. Do you understand? Get him! I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know where. Look, I'll leave my number. It's Hendon 3535. Call me. I'll be waiting. Hendon, three, five, three, five. Have you got that? Officer. Officer. I, I suppose this will sound a little foolish to you, but would you please arrest me? You've uh, had a few, huh? No. 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 Look, just overnight. Take me in for overnight, that's all I ask, please. Now, you, you go home and sleep it off. No! She is going to kill me! She told me so! Well, I think that's very sporting of her to give you a fair warning. Oh, officer, this is no time for jokes. Don't you realize I may be dead before morning? Listen, mister, we're all liable to be dead before the night's out. Now, just get moving. Look, uh, I know this sounds ridiculous to you. But I had this dream, see? And, and my doctor, my doctor, he said, face it. He said, nothing is as bad as it seems if we face it. You really had the advantage, didn't you? The moment I'm out of your sight, I'm a sitting duck. I hoped that you wouldn't come back. But you see, neither of us can escape it. Well, if I spend every moment with you, there's nothing you can do that I won't know about. If you don't sit down, you'll wear out the carpet. That wouldn't take very much. I walk in here and I find you in this room, sealed off from the world. There isn't a window in this room. What is this, a tomb? Enlightenment comes more easily in the dark. And what about you? You obviously believe that you're going to kill me. Don't you care enough about yourself to try to prevent it? If I had it in my power, I would. But there is nothing I can do, except... Except what? The kettle. I was preparing tea when you arrived. Operator, get me Westlake 4100. Yes, quickly, please. Hello, hello, 
Did you get Dr. Humes for me? Yes, this is John Radian. Well, connect me quickly, please. Oh, oh, I'm glad you're home. I'm at 20 South Central Street. Yes. Yes, I followed your advice. I did. I met her. The fortune teller. I'm with her now. I'll be here till midnight. Sure she exists, just like in the dream. I want you to know. If anything happens to me, it was the fortune teller. Madame Germain, Germain, got that? Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Join me in a cup of tea. I just made that telephone call. Now, not to the police. They're no good to me. To my doctor. You heard what I said? Sugar? Milk? Now, if anything happens to me, the police will know where I've been. There is nothing we can do to prevent your death. This tea... It smells funny. You think I'm trying to poison you? I don't know. But you don't believe in the crystal? Of course I don't! Then drink your tea. Did it ever occur to you that you might die first? What do you suggest? Shall I kill myself? I swear your time is as short as mine. Let me buy, Mr. Radian. Don't tempt me. Let me buy. What are you doing? Nothing. You've got a gun. Wind the clock, you straighten the room. If there were a cat, you'd put it out. How can you go on like this if you're convinced something's going to happen? We're all going to die. It's just that most of us don't know when. So we go on, day after day. Tell you what, I'm sorry for what I said before, all right? That's understandable, for one who has five minutes to live. Don't say that. I'm sorry. We both have reason to be. You were saying, madam? We both have reason to be nervous. The prediction's on the other foot now, isn't it? I want you to leave here, now. Why? Look, you're free. Free to get away from me. You mustn't commit this crime.
a shame, but it was his own fault. That's not what he told me. It was a stupid thing to be wandering around in that building. He was looking for something, something he had lost. I guess that's why he didn't see the sign. Sign? Where's the other body? There was only one. Oh, no, when he called me, he told me that she was responsible. Who? The fortune teller, the one that lived here. Fortune teller? Living here? I told you this building is condemned. It's been empty for years. 